There is a very strong, variable band of core winds that meander and flow rapidly about 10 kilometres above our heads. It's the jet stream, and the way it flows causes changes in wind and air pressure that have a fundamental influence on the weather in Ireland and Northern Europe. Met Aaron said the three named storms that we experienced in the past week, Dudley, Eunice and Franklin, were all heavily influenced by the speed and the position of the jet stream passing above Ireland. Now new research from Anuth University's Icarus Climate Centre suggests we're likely to see much more of this in the future. So our research shows that the average winter jet speed over the North Atlantic has increased by 8%, so 10 miles per hour. Um, And so that has the potential to make more powerful storms, um, which I guess is what is important for the people here in Ireland. The path of the jet stream is influenced by differences in air temperature and air pressure between the Arctic region and the equator. The fact that the Arctic is heated up so much more than the equator is changing those differentials. And this has caused the average winter jet stream to move northwards by 330 kilometres over the past 140 years. Um, And I guess the jet stream orientation roughly determines the, the track of the storm. So our study finds that the average winter jet position over the North Atlantic has moved from 44 degrees north to 47 degrees north. And I guess that also means that that's a closer latitude to Ireland as well. This is the longest ever regional study of Northern Hemisphere jet streams covering 140 years. And although it found big changes over the North Atlantic, strangely, it found no changes at all over the Northern Pacific. And that just goes to show how complicated forecasting climate change really is and how much more research is actually needed. George Lee, RTE News.